Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we have a really awesome video today because we're gonna be talking about several amazing typography techniques to creating meaningful, trendy type typography scenes. So we'll be doing that right here inside of After Effects. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into our screen recording and let's get started. All right, we have After Effects ready to go. And here's our tutorial composition. All we have in here is our two titles. So in our first technique, we need to talk about the layout and the typography of the titles. So what I mean by this is that we need to be able to make the titles look good. There's so many different ways to do it. So I'm gonna explore just a few concepts within our first technique. So we have our two titles here and you know, go ahead and type out your titles and there's several different typefaces that we can use so so beep as new is a good typeface fire a sans i really like this one also gotham and the typeface i'm going to use for this video i'm not going to pronounce correctly but it's Mountstriot. and we'll be using extra both at first but you take a look at the different types of fonts in here so we're able to create some good contrast so let's we'll talk about laying this out so when you have two titles to work with when you're trying to put it together like this, we obviously want to try to create as much contrast between the two titles as possible, obviously to the point where it's still readable and it makes sense. So for our first title, which is the important word, we'll go ahead and just increase the size of our title. And with our second title here with motion graphics, as you can see, it's smaller. And there's automatically contrast here because of the size, but we can take this even further. So one thing that we can do here is come here to our font style and we can actually bring it down to appear thinner so we go to like semi bold or even regular so it just depends on how thin we want to be and we'll go to semi bold and clearly there's more contrast but also we what we can do here is be a little bit creative about it and think about the tracking so right here we have tracking and we can increase this just go across to the size of our title and with both our titles here we'll kind of just make sure that these are in the center and for another concept we need to be talking about the color palette so there's not enough contrast here we have it all in like the thickness and the size of the titles but we don't really have it in the color now sometimes you're going to want to do this sometimes you're not depending on what you're doing but i'm going to make our first title here the main title i'm going to make this to a very nice selective you know color maybe it's a logo color of the video or it goes with the theme but i'm going to just make this you know a nice light yellow and just always play around these colors and you'll see that you'll get some nice contrast between the main title and the second title so that's really awesome so those are things that you should think about when you're placing out your titles and what i've seen through the years of doing this is that usually this is the big majority of the work making sure the placement and the contrast everything looks nice this is really what's going to help you increase your portfolio and produce better work is the design so make sure you spend some time on laying things out and make them look good all right so for our second technique i want to take a look at adding extra graphics to this so we have this background here and some extra lines here just to bring more focus and design to our title because why not we're here in after effects so there's a lot that you can do but one thing i want to do is make sure that the subtitle is pulled out from the background as much as possible since it is a lot smaller than our main title so i'll grab the rectangle tool here at the top i'll turn off the stroke if that's enabled and i'll click on the word fill make sure that's set to solid color and click ok and I'll set that color to black because, you know, our title is white, so we'll choose the opposite color. And I'm just going to draw out this box around our title like this, bring the shape layer obviously underneath our title. Awesome. Then I will grab our subtitle and our shape layer, go to the align tab and make sure that this is centered up. So now we have this box that easily pulls out our, you know, title. So that's great. So this theoretically could be enough. This looks great, but I want to add just a little bit more for those of you that want more detail. So I'll come here and grab the pen tool and I will set this to none, click OK. And we'll set this a solid color, click OK for the stroke. And we'll zoom in here. So it's kind of since we have like this nice perfectly boxed, you know, alignment going on here, I'm going to kind of just sell the box look a little bit more. So instead of just creating like a rectangle stroke box around the title, I'm going to do something just a little bit more simple. I'm going to create like these brackets. So I'm holding down shift on my keyboard and clicking points and boom now we have a bracket the stroke width is at five and that looks really cool and then what i can do here is duplicate this layer and go up to layer transform and click on flip horizontal and layer transform flip vertical and then i'll just have to move this into place and i'll move it over a little bit all right so for our third technique we're going to talk about the title animation along with our graphics so a lot of fun things that we can do here and we'll go ahead and get started so for our main title we're going to want to go ahead and open this up go to animate and we're going to go to enable per character 3d and then we'll come here to animate again and we're going to add a rotation and then we'll set the y rotation to 90 degrees 
And there's so many different things that we can do with the animation, but you know, you can take a look at each of these parameters, but for this, I'm gonna kinda do this in 3D space. And then we'll open up the range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for start. And then we'll move forward in time by like a second or so and set the start to 100%. And then we'll come here to add, we'll go to property and we'll add opacity. And we'll set the opacity down to 0%. So now we have a reveal on for our main title and it's really nice. And then of course make all these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then I want to be able to animate our subtitle. So for our subtitle, we'll go ahead and open this up, go to animate and we'll add a position. And we'll bring the Y position right underneath our shape layer like this. Okay, awesome. Then we'll go ahead and open up the range selector and maybe we'll bring it on right about here. We'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward in time and we'll set the start up to 100% and maybe make that a little bit longer and of course make both of these keyframes easy ease and essentially this animation will just pop in from below and we don't want to be able to see our title before it gets onto the box so we'll go ahead and grab the rectangle tool make sure our title layer is selected and we'll just create a rectangle mask around our box like this and with this right here now we're not going to be able to see our title until it pops into the box and that's what I'm talking about that looks great and then we'll go ahead and close this up and then we have to just animate our graphics. Very easy to do this stuff. So for our brackets, I'll do this first. We'll go ahead and open this up, go to add, and we're going to add a trim paths. And maybe about like a second in, we'll go ahead and open trim paths and we'll set the end percent down to zero. And we'll add a keyframe for it. We'll move forward in time and set it to 100% and make them easy, easy keyframes. Then we'll just copy the trim paths and we'll paste it to our second bracket. So now both of those will be animated on. Great. And then we just have the box. And this is really easy to do. We'll open up the box, go to rectangle one, we'll open the rectangle path one, and maybe just a few frames before our subtitle animation comes on, we'll grab our box layer, and we'll break the chain for size, and we'll add a keyframe for size and position. And we'll move these keyframes forward in time, and then we'll come here to the X size and set this to zero. And then we'll bring the position over here to the left. So now this box will just reveal on like this and we can always make those keyframes a little bit longer. And then we'll make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And once all said and done, we have our full animation here and it looks really great. I have it in low quality, but it looks good. So now we have our entire title animated. All right, so for our fourth technique, we're gonna talk about compositing this on a great background and adding just a few other elements to this to really make this pop. And throughout this tutorial, I've been using the seamless rectangle background that's been animating. And if you wanna learn how to create animated backgrounds, that link will be in the description. I just recently did a tutorial on creating seamless backgrounds like this. And for the cases that there actually is an image that I need to put on top of a video or a photo, I actually would like to use this type of background as an overlay. So what we can do here is go to our photo or video and just lower the opacity by hitting T on our keyboard. And this could be a great way to just composite your title on top of everything. And on top of this, I also have accent motion graphics being repeated on top of this to bring more detail to our title um, along with our backgrounds. So we actually have a motion graphics starter pack with over 300 elements in it. And how this works, I can go to our backgrounds category and just bring in one out of our 66 backgrounds and can drop this right into here, the one that I've been using. And I can set the blend mode to like soft light. And you see that blends in there very nicely. And on top of that, we have nearly 150 accent motion graphics. I can come here to clusters you know, one of our accent motion graphics and place this on top. And with our accents applied, it just adds a huge deal of detail to our composition. And it looks really nice. And currently in our pack, we have about 90 pre-made titles like the one that we created in this video. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack with 300 elements ranging different backgrounds, accent motion graphics, and titles, that link will be in the description. All right, so for our fifth technique, I want to take a look at subtle details. So since everything's kind of done here, uh, there's still a little bit more that we could do so i want to be able to create a little bit more contrast in our title and maybe just add a little bit of subtle animation to this so what we can do is grab our main title go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it title one all right awesome then i'm gonna come here and grab the ellipse tool and i'm gonna draw out a mask on our title kind of like this all right and then we'll go to effect color correction curves and i'm gonna go ahead and just increase the curves here and then I'm just hit E on keyboard to bring up the curves, open up curves, and where it says compositing options, I'm gonna click on this plus icon. And now, boom, now we have this nice contrast here on our title, um, adds a little bit more detail to it, and that looks really cool. And then I also could add just a little bit of extra animation you know, to our title when it's all done being animated. So what I could do here is go to layer, new, null object. I'm gonna go ahead and parent all of our title layers to the null object. 
and I'm gonna hit S for keyboard for scale, edit keyframe for it, and I'm gonna move forward by two frames. And I'm gonna scale this down to like 91%, make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And by adding this scale into here with our color, this was what it looks like, and just brings more, you know, attention to the title, and just a little bit of a nice subtle technique to make it look like we did a lot more work than we actually did. So a really nice technique that you can implement. And if you're curious about how we can animate this out really easily, what I would do is just select all of your title layers. Uh, I would pre-compose it, and I'll call it all. And then, you know, after it's been animated in, I would go up to Edit Split Layer, and I would delete that. Then duplicate our title layer, and then right-click it, go to Time, and click on uh, Time Reverse Layer. Kind of just remarry it to that cut, and now you'll be able to animate it in and animate it out without doing any extra work. So that is our techniques. And remember, if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time on your projects and produce amazing work for your clients and for your own personal projects, be sure to check out our motion graphic starter kit. That link will be in the description. So those are our techniques for creating trendy type typography inside of After Effects. I hope you found this video meaningful and helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post productions, tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description awaits be creating.